Ted Lasso. Ted Lasso has won many Emmys. Uh, a few of them uh, six days ago. Today is Saturday, last Sunday at the Emmys. Best comedy series. Best actor in a leading role in a comedy series. And more than that. Um, so, <laughs> so I thought let's let's have a look. Let's see what, what we have been missing because it's it's been uh, at least two years uh, since it. Well, I mean, last year it was the best comedy series uh, actor in the leading role. Um, Sudeikis, and although I agree that the actor is doing the phenomenal job. Uh, he's impressive uh, in his efforts. Uh, he's putting on a real show. I still don't... Uh, we've seen two episodes. So we'll see how we connect uh, this with the episodes online. But that's not important. Uh, what matters is that we, we're missing. We're missing the human. <laughs> then we're, we're missing the, the... What makes this... Uh, so outstanding <laughs> and the point of this getting the Emmys and, and all that uh, two spot and uh, uh, powerful uh, makes you wonder what, what, well if this is the best what are the others like <laughs> so, um, it, it, it's true uh, let's think um, Ted Lasso and The Great. Uh, the Great was good. The Great uh, was impressive. Uh, um, a wonderful piece of work that uh, two uh, nominated uh, actors in the leading roles, uh, Fanning and Eric Holt, uh, incredibly good. Um, the costumes, the drama, Creativity, originality, putting it in a in a different light, with um, people of color uh, in in important positions in the Russian court, which uh, cosmopolitan as we understand it was. Uh, I've just finished uh, uh, to the Hermitage in Malcolm Bradbury, and um, it's a lot. Uh, with Pedro arriving, with the correspondence to Volta, with Captain buying so much art. Uh, <clears throat> ships full of, of paintings of the Netherlands and then the library of Pedro and others and so on. So this was perhaps the most impressive court in Europe. I mean, not perhaps, surely. And, and the progress, the great, Captain the great. <clears throat> Yet, uh, like Marie Antoinette, but Sofia Coppola, it, 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 it gives um, um, Rocco Corrin a uh, 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 21st century <laughs> uh, makeover to some parts of history. The great. Um, yes, there is something to say about coming back to Ted Lasso about this coach coming from America with that experience winning just some competition there and showing talent, dancing and being original and, and uh, you know, with important team spirit and uh, an unorthodox approach bringing to the British Premier League. But really? Rain. It seems uh, more than peculiar. But that's again. Uh, it, is, it, is, it is at this point still. Um, unusual. Maybe it will 
it will change. Uh, it, it also depends on <clears throat> clearly on the viewer. Uh, many would argue it, it's much more. The beauty is in the in the eye of the of the beholder, uh, and um, <clears throat> one has to be a satisfizer, not a maximizer, as um, Barry Schwartz uh, says in his uh, classical psychology, the paradox of choice. That people who are maximizers, they want perfect, they're not happy because nothing is perfect. So whenever they have something, a car, they make a choice. They're instantly disappointed because they look for something else on the road which is better, which is much bigger at the same price. It doesn't matter it's so much more. I mean, it, you never find something perfect. Or satisfizers who are good, or are, are, are happy with the best possible uh, available choice. Um, and then um, what has to be positive? It has to, uh, to be a merit finder, not a fault finder. So we'll see how this develops, how this grows on us, Ted Lasso.